CSS degree began in 1999, and then a couple years later, a thing called the Institute of Technology was created uh, by Governor Gary Locke. And there was nothing, no public school in the South Sound that uh, offered courses in computer science. So I think part of it was to, to handle that demand. When the legislators funded the Institute of Technology, it was always envisioned as a polytechnic. And when we added the electrical engineering degree, that was the first non-computer science-based degree. And in fact, that's when we became polytechnic. So the question became, are we the Institute of Technology or are we a school of engineering and technology? The Institute of Technology, I think in this region meant something, but then outside of this area, it's not clear what that means. The word engineering is a more standard term. People across the nation and across the world understand. You offer engineering and computer science programs. Two years ago, we added a bachelor's in electrical engineering. We are likely to add a bachelor's in mechanical engineering and civil engineering. The South Sound has an industrial manufacturing history. And now with the addition of mechanical and civil, the number of companies and organizations we're gonna be able to serve with new graduates is gonna be incredible. And we don't want to stop at the bachelor's level, we want to offer master's level programs too because in today's uh, environment, uh, having a master's degree is like the, the minimum level of expertise that you need to get good jobs and to have a good career. It makes sense now that we should expand into a building that serves the needs and functions of the School of Engineering and Technology. The new academic building is a building that is shared between the School of Engineering and Technology and the Milgard School of Business. Most of the companies that are started are, are started by engineers and computer scientists. Engineers do not really know how to start companies unless they have some guidance from the business school students. So I think this is going to be a, a nice collaboration between the business school and the School of Engineering and Technology. That will probably lead to more innovation on the part of our students. The values that we established with are the values that we carry going forward. To make sure that women succeed in our fields because we have a shortage of women in our fields. Continue our strong relationships with community colleges. We want to create an inclusive environment for the diverse body of students we have and make sure that they succeed. If anything, the idea that we're now a school of engineering and technology helps us to better serve the values that we've established with.